Ever wonder what the high life is like in Russia? Today, you get to find out. Most of you may have heard of big name billionaires like Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos. But have you ever heard of big Russian names like Sergei Pugachev, Andrei Melnichenko, and Vladislav Doronin? Well, we will be talking about them today. You will be learning about what unique things they spend their money on as well as their daily lives. Stay tuned to find out why one billionaire wishes to move from one lavish home to an even more luxurious one. Let's get to it. First, we'll be taking a look at the unique purchases that some of these Russian billionaires have made. And what better way to start than with a big stakeholder named Andrei Melnichenko. A married man with two children, Melnichenko holds a net worth of $18.9 billion. This cushy amount of dough helps him be able to afford two yachts, one of them in the shape of a submarine called A, which is the first initial of Andre and his pop star wife, Alexandra Nikolic. The A was created by Felipe Stark and completed for more than $300 million, according to the Wall Street Journal. With the A and its 24,000 horsepower producing twin engines, he goes out adventuring to the Caribbean and the Mediterranean. It may be ugly on the outside, at least according to forums like The Ugliest Yacht in the World, but inside the yacht are some lavish additions. If you ever get the pleasure of being invited on board the 394-foot yacht, you will find 23,600 square feet of living space that contains a banister that cost $60,000 and bath knobs that cost a whopping $40,000. And that's not collectively either. Each bath knob really does cost that much. And Milnichenko spared no expense for security measures. The A not only has a fingerprint security system, but it also has 44 security cameras and even more on the outside of the boat and a knife-like hull for preventative measures. The A also has a master suite surrounded by bomb-proof 44 mm glass. The master suite also has a king-size bed that rotates so that he can watch the sunrise or sunset from his room. Talk about resting easy. Tempur-Pedic has got nothing on a rotating sun-viewing bed. And since even the sun wasn't enough for him, he also has a 60-inch plasma screen TV that retracts from the ceiling. Let's not forget about the yacht's pools. He has not one, not two, but three of them, including a lap pool. And what's a yacht owned by a billionaire without some world-class decor? The A has Baccarat crystal tables, walls made out of white stingray hides, and calf's leather. What can he say? There is nothing but the best for a yacht named after Andre and his sweetheart. Let's go into the daily lives of another one of these billionaires. While there isn't much to say for most of them when it comes to their daily activities, there are those who have disclosed such fascinating information. Take Vladislav Doronin, for example. When he isn't busy with Amman, his resort empire, he spends time with his family and doing various physical activities. One of these activities is kite surfing, which he likes to do in Amanpulo, a private island in the Philippines, with two kilometers of white sand on the beach, according to Forbes. He also likes to visit Miami, calling it sophisticated city and a global hub, and enjoys meditating, and has even spiritually trained with a Tibetan Buddhist named Geshe Yongdong. His spiritual retreats are an amenity at Amman resorts in Southeast Asia, according to the Wall Street Journal. Doronin is also the kind of man who thinks that even a full-floor apartment is not enough for him and his wealthy lifestyle. The reason being is that he wants a fireplace, a terrace, and a private swimming pool. His heart is set on another property that is within the Crown Building. The upper floors, which cost $475 million of said building, are going to be turned into condos by Doronin, and he means to make part of it his own home. This new place will cost Doronin $83.5 million, but don't worry, Doronin will be able to afford this place, especially when he charges $2,500 a night at an Amman resort. Another example of a Russian billionaire whose daily life was also revealed was Sergei Pugachev. For a time, Pugachev was happy with his wife, Alexandra Tolstoy, and their children. With them, he had many homes, which included a 12 million pound home in Battersea, which is 16.61 million in American dollars, a 200 acre home in Hertfordshire, and a 40 million dollar Caribbean beachfront villa. He would give his wife his credit card to go do whatever she wanted, and even had her own private jet. It was peaches and cream for all of them, until Tolstoy had to separate herself and her children from Pugachev when he got in trouble with Russia. Sad marital separations aside, another purchase made by a Russian billionaire was made by Roman Abramovic. He bought a club for $100 million called the Chelsea Football Club. 
Located at Stamford Bridge in London, this club has a stadium capacity of 40,834 people. It's an odd purchase considering it's a continued investment despite the problems Abramovic has, according to the Business Insider and a news article from Forbes by David Dawkins. But Abramovic isn't the only one connected to a football club. Alisher Uzmanov also sold a stake in the Arsenal Football Club for $700 million. What is it with rich Russian guys and football clubs? Uzmanov also holds stakes in Airbnb, Alibaba, and Spotify, which is good considering that they are far more well-known than the football club. All right, enough of the rich Russian businessmen. What about the rich Russian kids? You want to know what wondrous luxuries that they tend to spend their money on? Well, we can take a look at an example and turn our attention to the socialite Julius Takiva. Stakiva is the daughter of a Russian billionaire and jets out from her home in London, England to Russia just to get the haircut that is best suited for her. Additionally, she spends an insane amount of money on buying clothes in Paris, over $2 million. Her lavish wardrobe even includes over 100 designer purses. However, there is a rumor that not all is true in Stakiva's rich girl world. According to an article from Business Insider, a journalist from The Guardian named Marina Hyde claimed that Stakiva was responsible for the disappearance of various bags and other property from a local address. Hyde also claimed that she is fabricating her fabulous rich life, a trend that is common for Instagram kids in Russia. Though for the moment, these are rumors and speculations that are still being debated by Stakiva herself claiming that her ultra-rich life is 100% authentic. Stakiva also claims that her father works in a food firm, according to The Sun. Let's hope for Sakiva's sake that this is true and that she is still living a carefree and legal life under the umbrella of her rich Russian father. Whether they have spent their money on big homes or big boats, these rich Russians find money as no object. All they know and love is the luxury life that only their net worth and assets can provide for them, and much they have indeed provided. And that is all the time we have for our video on the rich in Russia. Did you know that Melnichenko is more than merely a man who owns a submarine-like yacht? He also runs a private foundation called the Andrei Melnichenko Foundation that helps Russian children in science and education, more specifically, from the regions where his companies operate, according to the official website of said foundation. Uzmanov even donated around $2 billion to charity, if you were to make billions of dollars, what charity would you donate to? Or what unique purchase would you make? Please leave your answer in the comments below. We'd love to hear your response. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of our latest videos.